What is the Wuhan coronavirus that we're hearing so much about? Why are so many people worried about it? And how can we as individuals prepare for it? My name is Andrew Copen for 360 for 30, and in this video we're going to answer those three questions. So please stay tuned. According to the CDC and the World Health Organization, the Wuhan coronavirus is technically known as a novel coronavirus. A coronavirus is a family of viruses that cause illnesses as mild as a common cold to the very serious and deadly, such as a virus that causes SARS. The reason doctors and scientists are so concerned is that the Wuhan, or novel coronavirus, is a never-before-seen member of this virus family that was first identified in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Not only is it spreading very quickly, it also appears to have a higher than normal mortality rate for this type of virus. Additionally, because of the high number of medical personnel who have caught the disease from treating patients, they believe it may be extremely contagious. Scientists are still learning about how this virus is spread, but as of this moment, it is believed by the CDC to be transmitted through coughing, sneezing, and by touching an infected person's hand or face, or by touching items, such as doorknobs, that infected people have touched. Some scientists believe it can even be transmitted when infected droplets touch the eye. So when handling people infected with this virus, it is recommended also to wear eye protection. Currently, there is no vaccine, and since it is a virus, antibiotics will not help it. The current treatment for the novel coronavirus is to allow the body to fight the virus itself, provide symptom relief, and treat any complications as they come. The Chinese government, the CDC, and the World Health Organization are doing what they can to prevent the disease from spreading and learn as much as possible about the disease as quickly as possible. Currently, most of the cases have been in China. However, cases have been seen around the world, including several in the United States. So now that you know a little bit about the coronavirus, what can you do to prepare yourself and your family in case the situation significantly impacts the United States. At 360 for 30, we believe in practical emergency preparations. So much of what you need to prepare for a novel coronavirus outbreak in the United States is the same thing you should be doing to prepare for any emergency. First off, if you have been putting off seeing your doctor, dentist, for a checkup or other appointment, now is a good time to make that appointment to take care of anything minor, to get your prescriptions updated and taken care of. This includes getting the flu shot. The reason for this is if the virus does become a pandemic, you may not be able to or may not want to go to the doctor's office or even a hospital. And something that is minor and preventable right now could become major at the worst possible time. I would also stock up on over-the-counter medicines that you normally would have on hand to deal with a flu or a bad cold. Medications like cough drops and other cough suppressants, decongestants, antihistamines, acetaminophen and or ibuprofen, and antidiarrheals. Just note that even with over-the-counter medications, always read the labels and know what you are taking. This is extremely important for all over-the-counter medications, but especially with items containing acetaminophen, as overdosing on acetaminophen is serious and can and has killed people. With any medication, even over-the-counter medications, if you are ever in doubt, always feel free to talk to and ask your doctor or pharmacist about these medications and precautions you need to take with them. Additionally, if you have chronic respiratory issues like asthma, I would definitely make sure to have supplies of current medications on hand. Two other items that I would stock up on that are useful not only for the coronavirus, but also if someone is fighting a bad cold or flu, would be sports drinks, for example Gatorade, to help prevent dehydration, 
and meal replacement drinks, for example, Ensure, to get healthy calories for someone who doesn't feel well or can't keep food down. Equipment-wise, I would have a good humidifier, N95 face masks, splash-resistant eye protection, and nitrile gloves. So do I think people should panic over what is happening with the novel coronavirus? The simple answer is no. However, we should be paying attention and we should be preparing for any emergencies. The supplies and equipment I am recommending in this video are basically the same ones I recommend to have on hand for any emergency. So other than getting supplies and equipment ready, what else can you do if you're concerned about catching the coronavirus today? The best answer is do what you normally should be doing to avoid catching a cold or flu, which is avoiding people who are sick, and most importantly, practicing good hygiene by washing your hands regularly with soap and water. However, if the situation changes significantly in the United States, I am planning on following up this video with recommendations on how to use protective equipment effectively and how to set up a sick room in your home to deal specifically with this virus. I'm Andrew Copen for 360 for 30. If you want more practical emergency preparation tip, you can find us on Facebook under Eastside Ready. And if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.